I'm not a scientist. I have no formal education nor a shiny degree. I'm simply a girl with deep-rooted passions for everything that lies beneath the surface of the deep blue and an insatiable hunger for knowledge. I write, I learn, I share. The goal of Women in Reefing is to celebrate and acknowledge the successes of women in the industry and hobby. We do this on the YouTube channel by featuring a different woman's story each week. This episode is a little bit different because we're celebrating an original woman in reefing who is no longer with us. We did celebrate her at the Women in Reefing get together at Mini Magna 2021, but we felt that we really needed to share more of her story. Caitlin was so involved with Women in Reefing that her picture was on the cover of the first event. Her contribution to the hobby and industry went beyond just keeping tanks. Working with Me Loves Reef, she shared vital information to help new reef keepers, and she constantly found ways to continue sharing the conversations that matter. Hey guys, it's Caitlin from Reefs.com, and welcome to the Reef Table. We're going to focus on ethics and address whether or not the hobby industry is justifiable. Here again with Rich Ross of the Steinhardt Aquarium and Rhett Talbot, uh, author for Pearl Magazine and also his blog, The Good Catch. We're here today to talk about uh, sustainability and ethics. So ethics can be really sexy. So let's talk about that. Caitlin um, started in the hobby, I guess, close to a decade ago. She was a gentle, creative spirit and a very gifted artist. Um, she was endlessly curious, and she loved to share her passion for our hobby. She created her own website and Facebook page, and that's called Reef Musings. She worked in the industry providing web content for Quality Marine. And wrote over 225 articles um, for reef reefs.com, and you can find her articles under the name Caitlin Nicole. She lived by the adage, follow your bliss, and she had a tattoo to match. Her beloved dog, Jack, Jack is a, Jack is a girl. Um, she liked to call, call her Jack, um, kept her going through many difficult times in her all too brief life. She finally found happiness with her partner, Mark Levinson, who many may know as Malev, he's here today. Um, he's a member of the Women in Reefing. Trixie's asking questions about your future tank. I don't know if you have a tank of your own yet. Not yet. It's going to no. happen. We have to find that sweet spot, and we got to find the sweet creature she wants. The sweet spot is in that corner, yeah. and the size is 60 gallons, and it's going to be a floating reef, and there's going to be uh, lots of uh, tremogobies. Tremogobies. That'd be nice. Caitlin always had a deep love for the ocean and the life within, and in accordance to her, her wishes, she uh, will be laid at to rest as part of an eternal reef. Um, her family wrote that they can think of nothing uh, that would have made her happier than to find lasting peace in the natural beauty of a newly thriving ecosystem surrounded by the creatures she adored. As we did at the event, let's take a moment for Caitlin. 